Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have the 20 cent coin for you from Australia from 1966. And as you can see we have the platypus on the back, the famous Stuart Devlin design. And on the front of the coin we have Queen Elizabeth II. This is a coin that was made at two different mints and that has error versions of it. So there was a mistake or a difference on the back of some of them that make it very, very collectible. And we'll look at that in about 30 seconds when we flip this coin over. So we see on the left it says Elizabeth II, Australia, 1966. And she's wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara with its two points up there. This is the Arnold Machen portrait of Queen, the second portrait of Queen Elizabeth that ap appeared on coins. If we tip it up, we see that it has a reeded edge. Now, there are a number of uh, these Australian coins of this era uh, that have a smooth edge, but they weren't minted that way. Uh, they simply wear down, and sometimes you'll see a smooth edge one. And if you get it under high magnification, you'll be able to see the line still. But uh, all of them were made reeded edge or lined edge, uh, and some of them just wore down. If we get it over to the back, we see that there is this huge, uh, it's a big coin, uh, has a platypus on the back. It's a big coin. I'll show you the Canadian penny next to it, or the Australian penny, which is even smaller. Um, and it weighs uh, 11.3 grams. So it's a big, heavy coin. It's about the difference, uh, about halfway between a U.S. half dollar, United States half dollar, and a U.S. quarter. So it's a big coin. Now, there is a known error version on this, and it occurs on the bottom of the two, or the base of the two. And see how this two goes across the base? There are two parallel lines here with this little tail. Um, on the error version, the top of these parallel lines on the base has a wave in it. And it's essentially called the wavy baseline or the wavy line version. So you'd go across the top of this base of the two, and there'd be a bump right there, and it's very evident. You can see it on uh, some of the websites. We'll have them say uh, sterlingcurrency.com from Australia has a great version on their website, and it's the, the wavy baseline version. In addition, uh, this coin was made at two different mints. It was made at Canberra and at London. So we see this platypus on the back, and you can see the claws, and uh, there's four here that you can see and five over here that you can see. And then this beautiful duck bill down here. Now, you can tell which version of this is by whether this line coming across here, this water line, hits the head of the platypus. Unfortunately, in these coins, that's a wear area. So sometimes it'll look like uh, there's a space there. If there's a space there, then it is the... Uh, Canberra version, I believe, and if there's no space there, then it is the, uh, I mean, sorry, if there's a, sp yeah, if there's a gap or a space, it's Canberra. If it touches the head, it's London, and as you can see, and we almost can't tell whether this touches the head or not, but it sure looks like it does, and we've got some other coins I can show you that it looks like it's a little further away, but this one looks like it might have a space, but it, you know, you really, because it wears so much in there, it might have a space now, but it might not have used to. And see how worn down the whole thing is. Um, so that, you you know, when you get a different version, you get different things on it. This also has the claws touching the top, so you can tell it's not a 1966. See how the claws touch the two? And in this one, uh, they are a little bit, um, tiny bit below it. So this, this one wasn't a 1966, this was a 1967 that I was showing you where the claws are a little bit more defined. All right, so that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. This is a very collectible coin if you can find the wavy baseline version. And if you are going to collect these 20 cent pieces, get the London version where it touches the head and get the Canberra version where this wave down here has a space between the end of the wave and the head. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And Gregory, if you're watching, uh, good day, mate.